Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine. I'm at the NAM show in Anaheim, California. I'm with Brendan from Antelope Audio. Hi, Brendan. How's nice to meet going? you, sir. Doing Great well, doing well. Too. And uh, in between us is this imposing look looking new box, which you're launching at the NAM show. This is the Antelope Audio Galaxy. Galaxy 68, that's right. It's our first Dante-enabled device. An antelope is uh, always overachieving, and we shot right past the moon into the stars. And uh, we have the Galaxy 64. It's the world's first 64 in, 64 out analog. And uh, on the D sub here, you have 124 decibel uh, dynamic range on the front and going in. And then on back end, you have 128 uh, dynamic range on the out and the monitor mastering grade at 130. You have uh, two Dante ports for redundancy. It's a full redundant design. You have four HDX ports. You also have your optical MATI and you have two Thunderbolt 3. So you can also daisy chain that way and you know, stack a couple of units together. So um, let's see over here we have inside the box, we have three FPGA chips. Uh, one is going to do all your routing, so you can, you know, you know, retire the patch bay and get rid of the cables. And the other two FPGAs are controlling 12 DSP processors. So it's quite a, an effects beast. All of that packed into one form. <laughs> wow, so it's a single 2U box that can give you 64 inputs, 64 outputs. Yes, yes. At all sample rates? Yeah, 192, a 24-bit, yeah, and below. Yeah. Wow, so that's pretty much a powerhouse for yes. any studio yeah. that really needs a large track count. Or large scoring. So, Mr. Zimmerman, if you're, if you're hearing, or Hans Zimmer, <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> Is it possible to attach more than one of these to a single system? Of course, yeah. You, through the Thunderbolt, you can daisy chain. Also, we have MADI. You know, there's, we always have minimum two forms of computer uh, connectability, either USB 2, Thunderbolt 3. But as you see with this one, we're, we're, we're really over, overshooting with four or five major connection points. <laughs> And what sort of things is it possible to do with the effects? With the effects, well, we have over 50 uh, Synergy Core effects because this is, of course, our latest design with FPGA and DSP on the bottom. So uh, we're always uh, going to be developing more. But we have your, your, all your classic compressions, all the, the popular EQs over the years, and we have our reverbs. So and we're coming out with delays, and uh, we have the space flanger now. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's quite, it's quite. That's a little bit inside baseball for me at this point, but <laughs> but we're getting there. But this is definitely for concert venues, uh, broadcast media uh, applications. Uh, of course, uh, studios with massive analog consoles where they don't, you know, necessarily need so many preamps. That's, otherwise, we have the Goliath for that. For that. And um, yeah, and also we have the crystal oscillator in the oven at 60 degrees Celsius, keeping that the that the click right. Uh, we also have the crystal oscillator inside of the oven at 60 degrees Celsius, keeping that at a nice constant uh, rate, and the acoustically fo focused clocking at the latest generation of our algorithm. So uh, yeah, tricking the ears into thinking it's analog. Wow. <laughs> so th this thing can be either a native audio interface or an HDX converter. Yes. yes. With Don you know Dante is pretty much standalone, and you can route it to any other you know speaking device and. Wow, that's super there. powerful. So, it's how really, soon is this likely to be available? It's going to ship uh, the end of Q2, maybe start of, or sorry, end of Q1, start of Q2. Yeah. And what sort of price are we looking we at? We do not have a map yet, but it, uh, the rumor is between seven and ten thousand. But even if we go for eleven thousand, it's a steal. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Brendan. You're very welcome. My pleasure.